How you all doing? What we're going up to in this video, paint spraying in a heat wave and ruining our paint. Bar stool. Making exhaust brackets bigger, painting the front wheel and putting the part one tyre on it, fitting some very flashy indicators, fitting the front rear in, cockpit and anything else we have time for in this video. So follow me, let's get on with it. Ok so I'm going to make a new exhaust bracket because when I fitted the can in a previous video and uh, this Remus logo was sort of underneath rather than up here where you can see it. So I've put this back on but I've put the uh, design back up to where it should be or to where I think it should be. So that is about level as well rather than to one side. So I'm going to leave it like that and this bracket don't fit no matter how you try. So I'm just going to make a bigger bracket. Okay, so that's that job done. Now let's get the front wheel off. Okay, that's the front wheel. So before I put the front wheel back on, I'm going to put the front wood gourd on. So let's get on with that. Right then, let's see if all this still fits. over 20 degrees and I'm sweating to death Dr. 
sure if I like it. Right then, that's the uh, cable on. Uh, just come over here in the shade. Right then, you all probably know about these two brackets that I made. I've made another one for down the bottom here. Yeah, so that's got to go into there. And the old one is going to go up to there. And then put a little dot on there. And the old one can live under there like that. And nobody will know it's there. Right then, this should just slide onto there. Bring our bracket up, it should slot onto there. Well, the other side. Here we go. I'll bolt into the new made bracket. Okay, that's that bolt in there. Maybe you can see that. I've just got to tighten all that up and that's job done. Right then, let's try and get these indicators sorted out.
we've got that going down there. Got it under here, into here. I think I've just made two uh, spade connectors. I've plugged the indicators into there. That's just a spare side light if I want to use that. That's not got any light going to it whatsoever. So don't panic. So let's try the indicators and see if they work. Well, uh, I think I better try and uh, wire that up again, don't you? I think I've wired up the running light instead of the indicator. What you like, Johnny boy? Okay then, so this is the uh, flasher unit. Been to the uh, local landfill, eBay. And I've bought one of these which should be uh, able to run LED lights. 10 quid. Should just plug and play, so it should do the same plug. Hang on a minute, it started to piss it down on the camera. Right, where was I? Yes, like I say, uh, that's the old one. And uh, that's the new one. It's three pin, three pin. That one square, that one's red. So if we plug that into there, like so. Hope it's not too dark in here. And if I had turned the indicator, uh, they may stop flashing briefly because I've got the power pack on my battery. Like it. These are going a bit fast because the uh, back one isn't connected. Like it. Perfectly splendid. Okay, then, so there is the uh, back one as well. Blink it at the proper rate. Go back to the front. Perfect. Right, let me do all the other wiring and then uh, work out what to do next. Okay, then let's try uh, this side. Yes, that's perfectly fine. Let's try that side. Yes. Perfectly fine. It just keeps stopping every now and again, but that's just because of the power pack. Uh, we've got I beam, yes, we've got I beam, sort of. Pass light. Got no horn yet. Got a starter motor. Got side lights. Uh, Made lights, and we should have I beam, low beam, I beam, low beam. So that's that. So next, let's get the horn honking. Okay, then. So as you know, the horn lifts up, up underneath there. Are the, uh, these are the wires for the set on. Okay then, so I've managed to get the uh, two wires on the back there. If you could see them. This is the wire here, yeah, what's going into the uh, on. Hopefully you can just see them down there. Let's put the uh, ignition on. Yeah, there's the on. Yeah, push. <laughs> yep, that'll do for me. Okay, then, let's get this uh, tight stand fitted. 
Right then, I wasn't expecting that. As I've got to take this engine bolt out to get it through the big hole. Lovely. Okay then, so that wasn't as easy as we thought. Never is, is it? I was expecting the bolt to be coming out here somewhere, but no, it's inside there. But I managed to slacken it off. Luckily enough, the uh, bolt is nice and free. I got stuck on the engine. Thank God for that. to go through there and that goes through there let me put one of these bolts in first So there you go, that'll do for this video, uh, not much progress going on with the bike I'm afraid due to a uh, serious illness in the family. I want to be riding this bike before the end of the summer so I want to get this done before the end of August. Then I've got, uh, at least I've got some of September to ride it, hopefully if it's rideable. So anyway, thanks for your time, thanks for watching, stay well, stay safe and I'll see you the next one. <laughs>